Welcome to day five here at Oshkosh 2023. I am with Sam Bosefield of Samsung Sky, and behind me we have Switchblade. Sam, tell me a little bit about your company. You're the uh, CEO, I understand? Yes, we started this probably about 14 years ago, and it's been quite a journey now in test flying. So, uh, wonderful little vehicle that we found to make flying and driving more enjoyable. So this is the best of both worlds. You can drive when the weather's bad, when the weather's good, you can turn around and take off and fly. You know, you, you never stopped. You just continue on and uh, it stores in your garage, so it's always available for when you want to go. Now, in looking at what you have behind me here, how much time and effort has been put into this over the years? What was your starting point to this point? Boy, we started with the old paper napkin sketch, really, and then uh, had to go through a lot of different steps, including just uh, initial aero reviews to see is it even feasible. And then it went to a ground prototype, radio control model, wind tunnel model, and then now we're into the full production prototype. So from a ground vehicle standpoint, what would the classification of this uh, vehicle fall into for the Department of Transportation? We looked out, uh, the concept was to do three wheels. That's what looked like the best route to do for this kind of a vehicle. It ends up that that's a great category to be in because it's classed as a, federally as a motorcycle. So motorcycle regulations, fairly small, easy to work with, gave us that nicer, bigger box to play in. And now from the aviation standpoint, what uh, classification are you in right now and what do, you, what do you see for that for the future? We started with experimental amateur built because again, it allows us to do experimentation and develop things that maybe don't fit the rules of certified world, but would be successful for what we're doing. And that included also an engine that could burn unleaded auto gas. We knew we couldn't burn leaded fuel on the ground. The EPA would just say no and shut us down immediately, motorcycle or not. Now, looking at some of the performance stats on this, both ground and air, what, uh, what kind of range are we talking about? Speeds are we talking about? And capacity? Well, it seats two side by side, room for golf clubs, short clubs, travel set. And it's uh, designed to cruise at 160 miles an hour. We picked miles per hour, not knots, because we're on the ground in the air. And then top speed, we're hoping for about 190 miles an hour. So a pretty decent, reasonable top speed. And on the ground, I think we've already been over 125 miles an hour, so we, we know it goes faster than most people will ever want to try. How about range? What are we talking? 500 miles in the air, probably about 750 on the ground. Well, that's pretty good. That's, um, I've looked at some other ones, not nearly that much, so good. Now, as far as the company, are you looking for uh, people to come join you as far as the team goes? You have a great solid team right now. We will be ramping up because we're heading into the last part of production engineering uh, and then, of course, putting it into production. So we'll be we definitely looking for more talented people. So where can people come find you on the web? SamsonSky.com. <laughs>